Hey everyone, my name is Derek Brady, and I'm a developer relations engineer working on AR Core. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the new Geospatial Creator powered by AR Core and the Google Maps platform. Geospatial Creator gives you the tools you need to design, build, and place 3D content in a real world location by providing you with a preview of a digital twin of the world. Today, we'll be using the Adobe Aero Geospatial pre release and go through the workflow of creating an augmented reality experience that uses Geospatial Creator. And great news, there's no coding required on your part. We'll learn how to use Adobe Aero and how to go to a given location in the scene view. Then we'll import a 3D asset into that 3D twin of the world and position it in just the right place. After that, we'll make the experience more engaging by adding interactivity to the object. And finally, we'll view the augmented reality experience on our device at that location. And with that, let's get started. So I'm starting this workshop with uh, Adobe Aero already open. Uh, if you don't have an uh, Adobe Aero already installed, make sure that you sign up for the Adobe Creative Cloud Geospatial pre-release by following the links in the video description or in the textual code lab. Um, get that installed and open up Adobe Aero until you find this screen. Here, we're going to start a new project. So on the left, click New File. And we're going to give it a little name. How about a Geospatial Creator Project? And hit OK. If it hasn't already been selected, on the right here, change the anchor type to Location. A window will pop up prompting you to select a location. I'm going to be picking the Google building. Here you can see a Google map preview of the location. I'm going to teach you how to navigate this real quick. So if you pan the camera with the left mouse button, you can find the location that really suits you. And make sure to find the location that's really compelling for your augmented reality experience. So I'm going to look around a little bit. Um, I like this walkway right over here. To select this location, Hover your mouse over it and click the left mouse button. Once the location has been set, click Select here on the bottom right. And you should see the 3D preview populate in this window. I'm going to go over how to navigate the 3D view. Here you have the tools on the left. I'm going to start with Orbit. The Orbit button lets you orbit your camera around the middle point of the scene. Then we have the pan button. And this will let you uh, navigate around the scene, going up and down or left and right. And finally, we have the dolly button, which lets you zoom into the scene. I'm going to go zoom into my location over here and kind of pan around the camera and make sure I can get a good view of this uh, walkway. I like this intersection over here, so that's where I'll be anchoring my uh, experience. Make sure you can get nice and close at a scale that kind of makes sense here. Perfect. Then we'll be importing our 3D asset. I've prepared a donut for you. And uh, you know I love donuts. I love especially the very sweet ones. Uh, so you can use that, or you can use one of the starter assets located on the left here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to pick from. So pick something that you know, really inspires you. To use the donut asset, let's use the plus button on the top left and press Import and select the donut object. And again, if you don't have it already, download it uh, from the textual description or from the video description. We're going to pick this object, click Open, and it's going to convert the donut and place it into your scene. So you may be wondering, well, where is it? Um, the donut is actually very tiny. So make sure you've selected the donut on, in your scene view. And then we're going to head down here to the scale and size. So 10 centimeters is a little bit small for my liking. I want to eat a huge donut. So I'm going to scale it up to something about like, uh, how about 50? Let's see how that looks. Go over to the orbit and make sure you know we're satisfied here. Mm, that should be about a good size for that. Then we'll try to move and position the object. So we're going to use these tools here on the left. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the Move tool. So I'm going to position it right over here so I can eat it while uh, I'm walking. Move it up a little bit so we can see it float and check out the bottom, check it out from all sides. Mm. That looks good. Then we'll use the Rotate tool so I can kind of view it from all sides, make it a little more interesting. 
and have a good look at it from this side as well. All right, that's great. So this is how the donut's going to look like in your augmented experience as well, just as you put it in Adobe Arrow. Cool. But now your donut is just floating there, right? Let's make something a little bit more delightful by uh, adding some interactivity to this object. So here on the bottom left, let's go to the Behavior Builder. The Behavior Builder is where you can program your object and uh, add triggers and actions. Let's start by adding a trigger. Click the Add Trigger button, and we'll start with Start, which will trigger as soon as your scene loads. We're going to add an action to this. I think it would be cool if my donut kind of spin all this time. So I'm going to add the spin action. And here on the right, you can set the properties for the spinning action. Let's see here. Let's see what it looks like by default. So here, if you press the Play Once button, you can kind of see it happen. I think it would be cool if it spun for infinity time. So I'm going to here, I'm going to click infinite here. Mm, and I think it's a little fast. So let's add some time here. Let's give it a little play and see what it looks like. Mm, kind of starts slow and goes faster. I want to change the easing to linear. Let's give it one more preview. Oh, that's cool. Let me zoom in a little bit more to get a good sense of it. Use the pan tool again. Play it one more time. Love it. So the donut will continue spinning as soon as the scene starts. Let's add another trigger. I'm going to press the Add Trigger button again and click on Tap. And this is the action that's going to uh, appear when you tap on the object. So I'm going to add another action. And how about we make the donut bounce when you tap it? I'm going to select Bounce here. And again, use the Preview button to kind of see what the default settings are. Can't see it move. Well, I can see it move a little bit. So let's change the offset here. So it's only going up by about 10 centimeters. Let's try to pick a different value. How about, no, uh, how about 100? Let's see what that looks like. I like the height here, but it's a little bit slow for my liking. Let's just tweak this and see what kind of values we can get out of here. We can make it bounce twice. Let's see what that feels like. That's cool. Maybe some easing. Oh, it kind of like goes up and then smashes to the ground. I love that. Let's see what it looks like with a rebound as well. That's cool. Let's go with this. Once you're satisfied with the behaviors that you've programmed, we can head over to the preview and kind of see what, what, it, what it would look like in augmented reality. Oh, yeah. Getting hungry by just looking at it. Looks great. All right. Once you're satisfied with the preview, let's head back to edit. And we're going to export this augmented reality experience to your device. On the top right, click on the Share button. Make sure that you're satisfied with the title and the author. And then we'll head over to Create Link. Give it a click and wait for the project to sync. Once the project is done syncing, a Adobe Arrow URL will pop up and a QR code. So the QR code links to the URL in the text box above. And what that will do is when the URL is visited or the QR code is scanned, a lightweight app experience will pop up, guiding you to the augmented reality experience and allowing you to view what that augmented reality looks like on your phone. So how about you go to the location and view your augmented reality experience for yourself? When you get there, make sure that you give it enough time to geospatially locate yourself. Head to the location that you specified in Adobe Arrow and get a good look at your 3D asset. Make sure that you're happy with the behaviors, and otherwise, write down some notes on what you would improve for next time. And if it looks good to you, well done. And that concludes this workshop on how to create a world-anchored augmented reality experience using the Geospatial Creator in the Adobe Aero Geospatial pre-release. Today, we learned how to use the Adobe Aero interface to view the 3D twin of the world. Then, we imported an asset and placed it in the editor. Afterwards, we learned how to add interactivity by using behaviors and actions. And finally, we viewed the augmented reality experience on our own device. 
We're so excited to see what helpful and delightful AR experiences you'll create with the Geospatial Creator in Adobe Arrow.